Once again, this is Rob Sippel from Florida Tech's Evans Library. I imagine that by now you have downloaded and installed R in RStudio, and you are champing at the bit to learn how to use them. You might be thinking, well, aren't you supposed to be teaching me how to use them? And yes, I am hoping that by the time you have completed these videos, you will know the basics of how to do a variety of things with R. However, since there is potentially lots to learn about R, I'm going to offer up some additional resources. Of course, since I'm a librarian, I'm naturally going to suggest some library resources. Go to the library's website, lib.fit.edu. Below the picture of the library, it says More Ways to Search, and below that, there's a link for Library Catalog. Click on that link. Towards the top left corner of the page, change the drop-down menu to Subject. In the box to the right of that, type R, and in parentheses, Computer Program Language. Click on Go to complete your search. The library has over 200 books that, to some significant degree, are about R. Most of these are ebooks that you can access remotely. So, although we'd love to see you in the library, you can view these books from the comfort of your own room. Like just about everything these days, there are online resources. CRAN, the folks that oversee the R project, provide manuals, including an introduction to R and R data import slash export. RStudio's website has a tutorial on getting started with R and a quick list of useful R packages. Many other organizations and universities also provide tutorials and guides to R functions. On the broader topic of how to learn R, I encourage you to simply experiment and try things out. R has a group of built-in data objects that are included when you install R, and the specific reason they are provided is to give you some data with which to experiment. When you are in R or RStudio, typing the command data with empty parentheses will generate a list of these data objects. If you are working with R and you have a question about the usage slash syntax of a function, just type question mark followed by the function name. I've got an example of that here on the slide. You can also go to the website rdocumentation.org, which has a search function for looking up functions and packages. As I mentioned in the previous video, the R Project website has a list of published packages with links to information sheets. And, of course, there's Google, which I have often used. A simple search for R with the name of the function and the word function will often lead you to websites such as stackoverflow.com, where you can find advice from other R users. So, there are a few ways to get started with learning R. I hope to see you in video number five, Basic R Components.